Hello everyone, I am Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. So as you can see from the title of this video, in this video we will solve a question and this question has been taken from the BMAT 2014 exam. Now the question is as follows, what is the number of ordered triplets ABC where ABC are positive integers not necessarily distinct such that ABC is equal to 1000. Now we have provided 4 options for this question, option A 64, option B 100, option C 200 and option D 560. So this was our question that has been appeared in BMAT 2014 exam and I would like you to try this question first by yourself and then come to this video for the solution. I hope that you have tried the question and you have got the solution and if you didn't then let's check the solution. So according to a given question we are given that a into b into c is equal to 1000 and we have to find the number of ordered triplets such that a, b, c are positive integers. Now the first step in solving this question is to prime factorize 1000. Now 1000 can be prime factorized as 2 cube into 5 cube because 2 cube is 8 and 5 cube is 125. So 8 into 125 is indeed 1000. So the prime factorized form of 1000 is equal to 2 cube into 5 cube. Now we have to distribute 2s and 5s to ABC such that they will comprise of 1000. So let's distribute 2 cube into 5 cube to ABC. So let's assume A is equal to 2 raised power alpha 1 into 5 raised power beta 1 b is equal to 2 raised power alpha 2 into 5 raised power beta 2 and c is equal to 2 raised power alpha 3 into 5 raised power beta 3. So after this we have got that alpha 1 plus alpha 2 plus alpha 3 is equal to 3 and beta 1 plus beta 2 plus beta 3 is equal to 3 and now after solving this we will get our solution. So let's find the value. So after the last step we have got that alpha 1 plus alpha 2 plus alpha 3 is equal to 3, beta 1 plus beta 2 plus beta 3 is also equal to 3. So we have got these two equations. Now we have to decide whether we will take the positive integral solution or the non-negative integral solution. Now since all the 6 values can take values from 0 to 3, so we will take the non-negative integral solution. Now if you don't know the number of non-negative integral solutions of an equation, then let's take an example. If we have an equation a plus b plus c all up to n is equal to k, then the number of non-negative integral solutions for this is equal to n plus k minus 1 c n minus 1. So by using this formula we can find the number of non-negative integral solutions for both the equations and then upon their multiplication we will get our answer. So let's find our value. Now if we take the first equation then the number of non-negative integral solutions is equal to 3 plus 3 minus 1 c 3 minus 1 and if we will take the second equation then the number of non-negative integral solutions is also the same 3 plus 3 minus 1 c 3 minus 1. Now the main question over here is that we will add both these number of solutions or we will multiply. Now we will use multiplication sign. This is because the condition will be fulfilled when we will multiply both the cases not we will add. So the number of total solutions is equal to 5c2 into 5c2. Now as we all know 5c2 is equal to 10. So our answer is equal to 10 into 10 which is equal to 100. So our final answer for this question is equal to 100 and according to a given option it is option number B. So our final answer is option number B, 100. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video. And if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASIN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASIN Academy.